You've heard the saying, be yourself because everyone else is taken by Oscar Wilde, right? Well, that quote holds true not only in your personal life, but in your professional life as well. So when you're building your personal brand, that truth needs to apply. Show up authentically in your personal brand because my friend, everyone else is taken. Today, we're talking about seven ways that you can show up more authentically for your brand to attract more opportunities. Stick around. It's Leanne, and when creating your personal brand, it would be so tempting to create something that you know is going to be marketable, something that you know is going to work. Big brands do it all the time, so why can't we do that for our own personal brand? But the thing is, for your personal brand to really resonate with people, for them to connect with you, and for them to trust in the values that you're trying to portray, it needs to be authentic. Being true to yourself first and foremost is what's going to instill trust in others. So we fall back on those words, be yourself because everyone else is taken by Oscar Wilde. So how do we show up authentically in our personal brands? Well, today we're talking about seven different ways. But before we dive in, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on that little bell to be notified of new content. I'm creating content each week around personal branding for sales professionals, and I don't want you to miss a thing. And stick around to the end of the video. I've included one bonus strategy that you can use to show up authentically. It's a strategy I didn't include in my blog post. Here are seven ways that you can show up authentically in your personal brand. Tip number one, and probably the most important, you need to believe yourself that you have a brand. I think what trips a lot of people up around personal branding is the self-doubt and the imposter syndrome that we bring into creating our personal brand. We need to push those nagging doubts aside and believe that yes, you are worthy of having a personal brand and people want to hear your authentic voice. Tip number two, amplify your true characteristics. Only choose things about your personality that ring true with who you are. Now, I did a blog about personality pillars not too long ago. You can find a link to that blog right here. And we go through eight different areas of our personality per se. And then we pull out the things that are very honest and true about ourselves. And then, of course, we choose what to amplify through our brand. But ensure that you're only amplifying the things that really ring true with who you are as a person. Tip number three, showcase your product or services differentiators. Now, these are things that are still true and authentic to your product, your service, and your personal brand. But what sets you or your product apart from your competition? These are things that will show up incredibly well when you're portraying your authentic personal brand. And tip number four, the best way that you can show your authentic self is through storytelling. Telling stories about how you became a salesperson or some of the challenges and struggles you've had in your business life. These are things that are very personal, but also very authentic. And building a story, drawing people into your story, that builds trust in a big hurry. And so it's a great way to show your authentic self. Tip number five, sell with integrity. Integrity is the adherence to a moral code. And of course, if you're going to sell honestly, you're not only going to create more trust in the person you're selling to, but also a lot of referrals that'll come along with that. So sell with integrity and sell with authenticity when you're portraying yourself in your sales position. Tip number six, be of service, not of sales. And I think this goes back to almost everything I believe about selling. Being of service to our clients and our prospects is one of the best ways to create a level of trust that they'll want to do business with us and do repeat business with us. So come from a place of service versus a place of a salesperson. 
And tip number seven, allow your personal and professional brands to collide. Gone are the days of that work-life balance and separating home from office. It's become now just a life of living and working and loving what we do. So allow those two worlds to collide. Allow people a little bit of glimpse into your personal world and you'll be able to connect with them on a deeper level. And here is the bonus tip that I talked about. Release patterns or habits that no longer serve you. And I'll give you an example from my own world. I'm in an industry that is extremely extroverted. And I used to have to go to all of these different networking receptions and parties and trying to build my business in that inauthentic way because deep down I'm a big introvert. And I prefer those smaller gatherings where we can gather just a few people at a table over a bottle of wine. And so I had to release the habits of, of thinking I had to attend all of these big bang events uh, to meet as many people as I could as possible. Now what I try and do is create a nice balance where I'm able to create those intimate settings where I get to know my clients and prospects on a deeper level. So when you think of your own personal brand, what words come to mind? I would love to know what you think of when you hear the words authentic personal brand. Please drop those thoughts in the comments below. To learn more about what you can amplify through your authentic personal brand, download my free workbook here that goes through the eight pillars of your personality and learn what aspects you can amplify through your brand. Friends, as you look at your own brand and ways that you can show up authentically, know that it takes time and patience to show up authentically day in and day out. Extend yourself some grace, but stay the course and create the most authentic experience that you can give your community. Best of luck, my friends. Bye for now.